A man charged in a 15-year-old homicide case remains in jail tonight on a $500,000 cash bond. Authorities say 52-year-old Peter Hansen killed 19-year-old Chad McLean in late February 1998 near Abrams. McLean's uh, body was found about one month later in the Pensaki River. Now, last Friday, 15 years to the day McLean's body was found, authorities charged Hansen. He made his initial appearance in Oconto County Court today. Fox 11's Bill Miston was there. And Bill, it appears Hansen has other problems with the law. Mark Hansen also had a motions hearing today on drug charges and 52 counts of possession of child pornography. Those were filed in November. He's He's been in jail since, and his defense attorney in those cases says the addition of the homicide charge is hurting his client's ability to get a fair trial. Yes, sir. All right. Those were the only words Hansen said in court to Judge Michael Judge. In light of the prior history, which involves numerous prior felonies, at least one prior weapon offense. Special Prosecutor Vincent Biscupic argued Hansen's past criminal record and his alleged role in the death of Chad McLean warranted the high bond. Hansen is already being held for allegedly possessing marijuana and having images of child pornography on a computer. Mr. Wallace. I don't think I'll be ready. Defense attorney John Wallace asked for more time to prepare for a trial on the drug and child pornography charges. He also wants the trial moved. I am extremely concerned about how you receive a fair trial at this point on these two cases in light of the fact of the publicity of how new case. If I have defense counsel telling me that he will not be prepared, uh, I'm going to have to arrange for another date. We are adjourned. Hansen's preliminary hearing on the homicide charge is set for April 24th. The trial date for the drug and child pornography cases is set to start May 6th. After the hearing, Biscupic says he's confident Hansen's trial on the drug and child pornography charges will stay in Oconto County. Well, it's inevitable that the, the initial charges have to be reported. Um, everybody in the media has their duty to keep the public informed, and I think that was properly done. McLean's family was in court today, but declined to comment. Laura?